Hello, I'm Peter Haywood and uh, this is my trusty Hammond. This time I thought we'd have a look at another popular organ technique, the technique of open harmony, where both hands play on the one keyboard and the left hand just puts one note in, the right hand puts a couple of notes in and yet it all sounds very, very full and uh, it was made famous by the American organist Jesse Crawford. So if you like the sound of that gentle harmonic style, come over the keys and I'll show you how you can do it yourself on an organ or on a keyboard. Come and have your keyboard and I'll show you how it's done. OK, now do you remember how we worked out the close harmony by the right hand taking the chord symbol and putting the harmony in as well as the melody? E7 with the G sharp at the top, with an E at the top. F chord with an A at the top, F minor. Well, what you do to make open harmony is you take that block chord, which we've learned how to do before, always with the melody at the top, and you take the middle note away, so your right hand is only playing two notes. But what happens to that middle note that we steal? We take it away from the right hand and we put it an octave lower in the left hand. So the C in the middle will disappear and become C down there. The E in the middle will disappear and become an E down there. Likewise the B. The B there disappears and becomes the B with the left hand. So what we're doing is taking the middle note of your block chord, of your close harmony, and we're stealing it and putting it down into the left hand, an octave lower. Now this is not the most popular piece in the world, I'm sure, and it's probably not the easiest one to learn. So why don't we take Silent Night? Let's have a look, everybody plays that one. So we've got the chord of C, Goes to F, back to C. Always the tune at the top, look. Chord of G at the top. G7, shall we have? Chord of C with the C at the top. C with the G at the top. Chord of F. Let's just do thirds. Forget the chords there, just on that bit. Chord of F, chord of C. Anyway, that's the first part of it. Let's just put the, put it into practice. What I've just told you. We'll take the middle note away. So the E and the F, the E disappears and goes into the left hand. Now the chord of C, the C disappears from the middle and goes onto the left hand. I shall shut up and just play now and let you just copy what I'm doing. So always remember you take the middle note of the block chord away and you play it an octave lower in the left hand. You're actually creating what they call tenths. They sound really nice on their own, look. And that's all by taking that middle note away. Here we go, Silent Night, the first part anyway. Here we go. Seven. Chord of G. So the G note goes from there and goes to the bottom. C chord. Chord of F. The F disappears. Now when you go on to that little bit, it's easier to think of the left hand following the right hand look. As he drops down, as the right hand drops down on the tune, the left hand drops down. Round your virgin, that bit. Here we go. Hold. Drop it down. Drop it down again. And now back onto the chords. So round your virgin. Down. Here we go. From the top. Follow the pattern. Now the chords. Now it repeats. Now we've got a G7 chord. Now you see G7's there. 
So you've got a choice. You can either put the G at the top or the bottom rather. You can steal the G. I don't like that so much. I'd rather steal the B, I think. Take the B away and stick him into the left hand and we can lose the G as well. And then forget the open harmony. Oh, come here. Yes, we can do. You've worked hard enough then. Or you can put the open harmony in, but it's, it's a little bit pointed then, a little bit too much. So there is a time when it's nice to drop the open harmony and just finish normally. Or you could do a nice ending. That's a nice ending. Basically, you take what we what we would be doing with just the one hand is this look, which gives you a nice ending in any any tune. But we're taking that middle note and we're sticking him into the left hand. Do you remember on the block chords how we used to roll some of the notes in the left hand just to make up for the fact that he's only playing one note? Let's try rolling a few notes down just with the left hand. Watch what happens. See, you roll in beside, it should be E to C, but you just roll in sliding, or you can use all the fingers if you like, but it's easy to slip slide, cheat a little bit. Just glide off the notes. Glide over them. Don't overdo it. Now I go back to straight notes. Now we can glide again. Take the F away to put them at the bottom. Follow the pattern. Slide the notes with the left hand. Now single notes. There we go. And that's the basic basis rather of open harmony. Thanks for listening and happy music.